Good evening. We've had a very pleasant day today across East Central Illinois. Despite the cloud cover, we got up into the 60s today, but change is coming from the west. We have a cold front that's pushing through from the west, and with that, we will be expecting some pretty major rain showers today, but or this evening rather, but we do have a wind advisory in effect for the entire viewing area that is put out by National Weather Service Lincoln. That'll be in effect until midnight tonight, so in just a couple of hours time that will be expiring, but that is put out for possible wind gusts that will be in excess possibly of 45 miles an hour. That didn't stop the temperatures from getting pleasant today though. Currently conditions we're seeing in the 60s, 66 still in Effingham, and we're starting to see some clouds working their way from the west, 64 in Taylorville with those mostly cloudy conditions. Now temperatures are starting to fall from their daytime high 62 was our high in Charleston and in Decatur, but we did get warmer in a couple of other places, including Terre Haute and in Danville, where we did get up to 67 degrees for our high temperature today. 51 degrees overnight tonight, so we will be dropping down a little bit with rainy conditions, but strong winds are gonna be the theme. We say gusting up to 25 miles an hour at times and possibly even over 25 miles an hour. That will be affecting the temperatures, but not in the usual sense, 56 degrees, for our daytime high tomorrow, but you won't be seeing it on our timestamps here on 8, 12, 3, or 6 o'clock because that's actually going to be taking part or taking place rather in the morning hours tomorrow around 5 or 6 in the morning is when we're going to see that 56 degree temperature. So throughout the daytime tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures on a gradual decline around 8 a.m. 53 degrees for our temperatures. Then we'll be dropping down into the 40s and even into the 30s for tomorrow's low. Now looking at wind gusts tomorrow, though, that's going to be the main story. They're going to be shifting from the south to the southwest. And around lunchtime, you're starting to see those wind gusts around 30 to 35 miles an hour. And even later, you may even see them in um, near 40 miles an hour in some places, including Paris and in Danville. Now, those wind gusts will be dropping down a little bit, but we will be seeing some pretty decent rainfall overnight tonight. Looking at future cast right now, we still have those cloudy skies, but the rain will start to enter around 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. We're going to be seeing the first bit of rainfall throughout the evening hours tonight. And we'll see a little bit of a second branch of this wave wave coming through around the early morning hours on Tuesday. Now when this pushes through, we'll be left with mostly clear skies overnight into the morning hours. We may see a spire shower or two, but for the most part, cloudy skies throughout the daytime tomorrow. And when the storm or when this rain system passes through, we'll be expecting around seven tenths of an inch in Charleston. Could even see eight tenths of an inch in some places such as Effingham and in Terre Haute, but more or less right around three quarters of an inch of rain for the entirety of East Central Illinois. Now we are going to be getting a little bit of a break from the rain later on this week. Wednesday cooler, but we are going to see less winds. 47 degrees for our high on Wednesday over cloudy skies. And on Thursday, clear skies are going to take precedent and we will start to see a little bit of a warm up taking place. 56 degrees for our high on Thursday under sunny skies. As we get closer throughout this week, we'll be getting closer to the start of April and getting that little bit closer to the day of the solar eclipse. Monday, April 8th is the day of the solar eclipse. So we're officially two weeks away, 14 days from the day of the solar eclipse. That solar eclipse is going to be the newest or the latest one. And our next solar eclipse in, in the United States will be taking place in the year 2044. So definitely get out and take a look at it if you have the proper precaution with the sunglasses. But looking at the rest of our seven day outlook again, 56 degrees for our high tomorrow, but that'll be taking place in the morning hour. So definitely bundle up a little bit with a light jacket because we will be seeing 40 degree temperatures for the most part tomorrow. 47 degrees on Wednesday. As we look at the rest of your seven day outlook, temperatures will be on their way up near 66 degrees for our high to end the weekend or end the work week. And even to start the weekend, 